to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Bonucci spreads it towards the left. Well, that's where he wants it. A Serbi gets into the right position to intercept. Out to the left it goes. He's got options out wide. Well, it's not the quickest of starts, but what it lacks in intensity certainly is made up by a, a large serving of, of discipline and organisation. El Elmas concedes a free kick for that. And he just whacks it away. Jorginho. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Deep cross, towering header! He will be livid with himself. Lorenzo Insigne. Florenzi goes looking. Jorginho. And it's Verratti. Chiesa with the crossfield ball. Insigne gets it into the middle. Cleared away. And here's Insigne. Aimed in toward massive leap. Goal, Italy! And Italy score first. Italy are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Italy draw first blood here. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering and 
Listen, we all expect that. Lorenzo Insigne. Italy are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Alioski tries to get it forward quickly. Florenzi. Chiesa. Has he found his man? Well played, he saw that coming. Marco Verratti. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Bonucci. Florenzi, Chiesa. Lovely bit of skill there. Florenzi. Florenzi goes on an adventurous run. Jorginho. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Bonucci drives it forward. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Forward it goes. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Spinazzola, who does have an assist to his name. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? And that has put pay to that. Chiesa. Chiesa! And the keeper barely had to move. And the half-time whistle goes. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Italy, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Italy really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Jorginho. Florenzi. Benucci. And it's played forward. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. Marco Verratti. It's Verratti. Marco Verratti. Ball is over the line. <laughs> Tries to locate someone up front. Lorenzo Insigne. Italy are still that goal to the good. Jorginho. 
And here's Immobile. It's Immobile! Hoist oh, it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Tandev. Tandev plays it forward. Elmas. Tries to get it forward quickly. A Serbi attempts a clearance. So, Jim, what are you thinking? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. Florenzi. Spinazzola. Lorenzo Insignia. Spinazzola. That's a throw. Insignia switches it towards the other side. Look at the defender bombing forward. Tries to get it clear. Keeper's ball. Forward it goes. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Berati drives it forward. Lorenzo Insigne. That is terrific skill. There are a few waiting for it. That's a throw. up to head it! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Time and again, they are repelled. Marco Verratti. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and having notched the goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. Chiesa. Marco Verratti. Italy leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin. Chiesa plays it in. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Bonucci positions himself well and cuts it out. Who's he going to play in? Alioski. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Jorginho takes the long option. Italy probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. He's looked long this time. And time is up. Italy, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, good luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and graft, Peter. Not the prettiest of wins, but a very professional performance, I would say. And a clean sheet, of course, is, is always very welcome. So, just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.